You know how YouTube and Spotify have algorithms to determine what to recommend to their audience. This month I had to split my artist personality to accommodate for the darn machines. After a very intense October my streaming stats went down in November, mostly because I got pleasantly distracted with an amazing gig on Fiverr. I wrote 26 orchestral pieces for a Christmas carol audiobook. For the money I earned from it, I bought Alessi's Q49 MIDI keyboard, which I've been learning to play piano with every single day, 20 to 30 minutes a day with the help of Usician application. As planned, I split my music into two profiles. Hip-hop and electronic pieces will continue to come out under my Seva M artist name. But going forward, cinematic and solo piano works will be released under my full name, Seva Markov. You know how YouTube and Spotify have algorithms to determine what to recommend to their audience. I did the split to avoid confusing these algorithms. My dear friend Gene Sibelius nailed it in 1919 when he said if I could express the same thing with words as with music, I would, of course, use a verbal expression. Music is something autonomous and much richer. Music begins where the possibilities of language end. That is why I write music. I'm learning to play piano and reached level 5 in Usician so far, getting ready for a video recital. Usician is good, but sometimes the learning curve is not exactly evenly distributed. If you also learn to play piano or have already learned it, please leave a suggestion for any good applications or courses in the comments. Out of all AI tools in the music industry, I am still the most impressed by Ava, and lately I've been using it a lot more for idea generation. Ava can write the whole instrumental for you, and unlike other AI music tools, it actually writes it out note by note, which is then rendered into WAV. More importantly you can download the MIDI and stems of each individual track. This month they introduced the workflows. With this functionality you don't just pick a style, duration, and key, but you can also select and edit the chord progression, melody, and instruments before the track is assembled. The way I work with it typically follows this path. Create 30 to 40 tracks, select 2 to 3 to work on, adjust volumes, and recreate or remove some sections, export MIDI and stems, import into FL Studio. Add my own instruments and effects, and quite often I add my own melodies. Mix and export the final track. Do you use any artificial intelligence tools in your work? For any musicians, artists, DJs, and bands, music placement plays a central role in delivering music to listeners. And that's why these days I'm trying my luck with music libraries that distribute my music to their subscribers and share the revenue in exchange for royalty-free uploads. Here's my latest status from the music licensing libraries. After a successful application to Pond5, I uploaded three more tracks to it this month, I applied to 100 Audio and AudioSparks, and AudioSparks has already verified me, looking forward to working with them. Still waiting for a response from Artlist and Motionary, the latter one got stuck at about 1,400 place in the queue, been there for a couple of months now, if you're interested in any specific one of them reach out, I'm happy to share my experience. Couple of updates from my website. If you are a musician or a producer, when you submit music to my playlist there's now a field for your handle on social media this way I'll be able to give you a shout out on Twitter or Instagram when your music is added. And for all the content creators 46 free downloads are waiting for you on the downloads page of my site. No registration required, and you are welcome to use them even for monetization purposes. In addition, there are a bunch of royalty-free solo piano renditions of the most famous classical tunes from Mozart, Liszt, Tchaikovsky, and more just come and grab them. Remember the solo piano track Phoebe Won't Tell from my Home Dimension album that was made for an art exhibit in Turkey? I created an orchestrated version of it, and also a lo-fi track, releasing on December 22nd. This music is inspired by Phoebe from The Catcher in the Rye, and dedicated to all siblings, I'm really happy how it turned out. December Goals Learn to play the four chord song on the piano, make a symphonic bass tune, distribution goal is to reach 400 streams on Spotify and get 15 tracks in each library, 
help others by expanding my five playlists by five tracks each and gaining 10 followers for each one of them. Subscribe and follow for more music marketing tips, music tool reviews, and royalty-free music. Hashtag miles of colorful music.